Like the Layers panel in Moho 12, the library has been completely updated as well. It no longer runs with a web page based system. It's all integrated within Moho. You have more control over your library content and overall the window works much better. To access your library, simply go up to window and then choose library. You can also use shift command L if you're on Mac. Again, if you are used to the library from previous versions, it'll look different right off the bat. What you liked about the library in previous versions still exists. It's just now more stable and has more options. First, if you recall from previous versions, you always had to create a centralized library folder before you even started Anime Studio. It would ask you this. Do you want to create a new library folder? And you can choose to do so. What's great about this new version is you can have multiple library folders. So let's say you have multiple projects going on. You might not always want to have one centralized library for all your projects. You can come up here to where it says location and choose add custom location. So for instance, we could create, let's say a new folder. We'll just come out here and we can name this one episode two. Let's say we're doing a new series and we could click choose. And here we could then name the folder for the library. It doesn't have to have the same name as a folder in your file browser. But in this case, we could just name it episode two, just for consistency, and then click OK. You can see we now have a new folder inside of here. From here, you have other options for searching through your content. Like the layers panel, you have criteria as to how you can search. Click on the drop down menu right here, and you can choose to Search by name, frame rate, tags, comments, type, and the list goes on and on and on. So we could come in here and type in name. Let's say you're looking for something that has 3D in the title. Hit search, and it will go through all library folders and search for those assets. Once you find the one that you want, you can pull it in by coming down here and clicking on the add the selected library item to the current document. You'll get your insert object prompt, and then you can choose to import by reference or just as is and click OK. And you now have that object in your shot. When you're done searching, just come over here and click the back button and that will back you out of the search. Let's say you want to add items to your library. That works the same way as before. Just click on the folder you want to add your items to. So let's say we're working off of our episode two library folder. I'll come over here to my layers panel. We'll click on Jasmine and then we'll click on the add item button on our libraries panel to import into the library. You'll get this prompt right up here and it might take a little bit to save depending on the detail of your layers. But once you're good, you can click the drop down menu next to episode two and you'll find Jasmine within there. And you also get all sorts of information if it's a folder, when it was modified. And you can expand this out as far as you need to. And you can go inside Jasmine and you can find the Moho project file right there. And you get a nice thumbnail indicating what it is as well. Let's come over here to episode two again. I'll come down here and click on Wheezy and we'll add that rig to the list as well. Get your prompt right up there. And once it's saved, it updates within the library. And if you have images to go along with these rigs, you have them here as well. So you can see we have some textures assigned to certain parts of that rig, and they also get included. That way, if you need to share this file later on, all of the outside assets that make up that rig can get included. You have other options below as well. Once again, you can add to the library with the import button. You can import from the library and add your items to the document. You can create new folders within your library. So let's say right here under images, I wanted a new folder. I could do so very easily. And then you have the ability to remove items from your library as well. So I could come in here and let's say I don't want Wheezy in here anymore. I can click the trash can icon and I can choose to move to trash. You can right click on your options within the library to get access to quick options. So you can open the project right from the library. 
You can open it as a template, add it to the Moho exporter so you could queue up video files this way through the library if you wanted to, reveal the file in your file browser, set the thumbnail image. Maybe you're not happy with this one. You can reset it to something else. You can choose an image from your files if you wish. And you have other options here as well, like duplicating, importing selected layers, importing the current document, importing styles, and adding new folders. And then you have some actions down here as well that you can do that are very similar to when you right click. But as you can see, you have access down here as well. Your library will also keep track of open documents. So if you come up here and click on this tab, you can see I have two documents currently open and it shows them right here. And you can look at the details of these. So you can go in here and see what images we have in case if we need to bring those images with us as we move this document, let's say from computer to computer, or as we transfer it from team member to team member. This can be very useful in keeping track of everything to ensure that no files are lost during transfer. And once again, you have similar options for this as well. You can choose to bring things into your current document. You also have actions here to reveal your documents within the finder, as well as open it up with a default application, such as an image viewer on your computer. There is a lot to love about the new library. It integrates very nicely with Moho. You have more control. You can organize easier. And overall, it works much better. If you'd like more information, tutorials, or to purchase Moho, visit moho.smithmicro.com. <laughs>